What is going on fellow Bugsters? Once again, you guys already know it is your boy Bug coming through back again with another banger video. Since we have, you know, the big lifted truck and we put the small little car wheels and tires on it, I've asked myself, okay, what do I do next? And then this little light bulb just popped up above my head. I was like, ah, that's what we're gonna do. We are going to put my 24 by 16 inch wrapped in 37 inch tires on a freaking car today. Yes, you have heard me correct. Everyone, I promise, I am not joking when I say we are mounting these bad boys onto a Honda Accord for today's video. It's 2019, it's a big year, I'm coming in hot. I'm only gonna be bringing you guys the best banger content so you guys can count on that. I have some very big news for the channel as well. A lot of you may have already noticed this, but I had my very first video pass 1 million views. You guys, I'm still smiling, cheesing from ear to ear. It actually happened this morning. I, my mind is blown. I can't thank all of you guys enough for watching the videos, liking and commenting on the videos. That means so much. So if you have not already, go down, throw a like on today's video and leave a comment on what you're thinking, how it's gonna turn out. Not only a million views on that video, we are this close, so close to hitting 100,000 subscribers. Another big goal milestone I have set since I have started YouTube. You guys, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already so you can be up to date on future banger videos like the one we are doing today. Just one more time, thank you again everyone for the awesome support lately. I really, truly do appreciate it. And I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you guys. I wouldn't be doing this if it wasn't for you guys. So. For everyone that's ever liked or commented, watched a video, take your hand, pat yourself on the back, and just know your boy Bug appreciates and loves you. Now when we mounted the little wheels and tires on the truck, we did it very, it was very sketchy to say the least if you would have seen the video. If you have not yet, go back and check it out after watching this one. But as you can tell, it worked. The truck is still sitting on the wheels and tires, and that video was filmed a few days ago. Still been daily driving it like this. Uh, my neighbors keep making fun of me. I'm not sure why though. And trust me, I would not recommend putting these wheels and tires on your vehicle. Even though they do look really good, way better than those ones, freeway driving is terrifying. I kid you not. You're maxed out at 35 miles an hour. You're causing traffic jams. Cars are honking at you, flipping you off, yelling at you, mounting these wheels and tires on this car. We will be taking a plate Mounting it on here, it'll be half inch steel plate. It'll have this same bolt pattern into it. And then we'll have some round steel tube that will come out 12 inches with another plate on it that will mount to the back side of this wheel. So we're basically making our own wheel spacers that'll be 12 inches long, but one solid piece. And hopefully that'll kick the wheel and tire out just enough to where it won't hit the fender and we should have some kind of little bit of a turning radius. I think these wheels and tires will look better on the Honda Accord than they did my truck because you know it's a stretch tire, Honda's a ricey car so this will be a nice wombo combo. Those are my non-pavement princess tires for off-roading and climbing Mount Everest. This beast right here is going to be known as Clifford Jr. I love how it happens to be the exact same color as my truck. Here is the half inch steel plate. We have our circles drawn and then we will plasma cut them out, weld our 12 inch cylinders to that which will kick the wheels and tires out and then we'll take another one of these after it's cut, mount on the top, cut the lug pattern out so the studs can go through it. We'll put the lug nuts on. This is probably, I don't know if this is strong enough for those wheels and tires because the car has to weigh at least 8,000 pounds. So hopefully this holds up. I'm not sure if it will with the car weighing that much. What do you guys think down below in the comments? I want to come back home. You gave up on me. You kept my freedom. Oh, let me be your nightmare syndrome. currently have all of the new adapters cut. I'm very curious if these adapters slash wheel spacers will hold up because the weight of the car will be sitting on them while those wheels and tires are on the ground. Hayden, do you think this setup will hold the weight of the car? 
And now that's 7,000, roughly maybe 8,000 pounds. I don't know if that's gonna, if this like, is gonna hold it or not. Go down below in the comment section and let me know if you guys think that this is going to work, um, how it's going to perform, if it's going to break. Me personally, I think it's gonna work. It's gonna look sweet with the freaking wheels and tires hanging out a mile, but uh, turning, I'm not sure, maybe we should've went a little longer so we can turn, but if you go too long, you're losing strength, but I think it'll hold up. There's a slight chance it could break and destroy the car, but we'll see. All three of these are done, ready to go. The one that is placed in the wheel right now just needs to be tacked, welded on the back just for extra strength. Just so you all know, this is what happens when you only use a plasma cutter and not you know, a fancy drill press. Is this video considered redneck or rice? Because the engineering to everything is pretty redneck, but at the same time, extremely ricey. We're using a Honda, which could be classified as ricey, but with truck wheels, which is kind of redneck, but also ricey because they're stretched tires. You guys, let's get that debate going down below in the comment section. Let's get a war going. Comment, redneck or rice? If you guys ever decide to put wheels and tires from a truck onto your Honda Civic, I recommend welding all of the studs because if you're going on the freeway and you know speeds of 75 to 80, well I guess if you're driving a Honda you're at least going 150, you just don't want these to fall off the car because that is a big lawsuit that you don't want for me. I want to come back home, you gave up on me, you kept my freedom. All of the wheel spacers are finally complete. As you can tell, we have the plate that will bolt to my truck, and then this will bolt to the Honda, and then the wheels. So on from there, we are now getting ready to jack the car up, pull the factory wheels and tires off of the Honda so we can finally fit these bad boys on and start driving it around. I'm still very curious if this is gonna work or if the front end is just gonna break because of the weight of the car, if the spacers are gonna crack, snap, I, I don't know. Because again, the car weighs, we're guessing, at least seven to 8,000 pounds. Both of the rear wheels are mounted on the Honda right now and I, I can't even gather thoughts or words, just wow. Here is the sneak peek of just what the backs will look like. That is the stance we will be rocking today in the Honda Accord. We got the passenger side all done as well. Now it is time to set the back down and just pray. Everyone pray for me, keep your fingers crossed that nothing breaks. Do you guys think this is going to work? Uh, all right, Hayden, go ahead and set it down. <laughs> oh, yes! Face down, butt up. What looks better, the new wheels and tires or the factory wheels and tires? fronts on right now and we got this guy over there in his truck taking pictures because this is so wild looking tightening up the passenger side and then it is the time we've all been waiting for to see if this will really work still can't get over the look of this car with the front being all the way turned to the left that is how much of a turning radius and clearance we have also with the front it's where the engine sits and it's going to put a lot of weight and stress on these spacers and studs. I hope this works. All right Hayden, set Clifford Jr. aka the Honda Accord with the big wide wheels down. Let's see if this ends up holding. Oh my, wow. This is freaking wild. What do you think right now Hayden? Feels pretty good. Do you feel cool? Yep. You look pretty cool. Looks like you still got some good turning. Oh yeah. Go to Moab now. Yeah, take the girl to Moab maybe. Oh. 
The Honda Accord with the 24 by 16 wheels and tires, it's, it's working. It's physically driving around and nothing has broke yet. Oh, that is so close. Ooh. Just spinning with my fingers, so we're gonna tighten some of these guys down real quick and then keep on trucking. So I'm sure by now you've all seen this wheel and tire setup on my 2011 Ram Cummins. You've now seen it on a 2000 Honda Accord. What does this setup look better on? The truck or the car? Let's get a heavy debate going down below. The stance on this is unreal. And look at the clearance underneath the car now. You don't even have to jack it up to work under there. You could probably replace the transmission without using one jack. Since we have your everyday car with an off-road wheel and tire setup, I think it's only fair and to see if it can actually go off-roading. Keep them, get them spinning. Full send, bud. Yes! Quick little NASCAR pit stop to tighten the <laughs> lug nuts up again. 50 million likes on this video and we'll do it with a brand new Lamborghini Huracan. <laughs> Let her rip, bud. Yeah. You guys, this is wild. This is too <laughs> wild right now. There is whatsoever no reason to waste any money on ever buying a truck when all you can do is buy truck wheels and mount them on a car. This is already more off-roading in this Honda that my truck has ever been through. I cannot believe that this is working, let alone this well. All the neighbors have been coming out asking us what's going on, taking pictures. Hayden, hop in the old girl, throw in reverse, and see if we can grenade the transmission. Oh, we're going to reverse? Yeah, throw in reverse. Send it, boy. Yeah! Yeah! Oh. Come on, Hayden. You gotta make it up the hill. Full sends only. Yo! Oh my. Go down, throw a like on this video. 50 million likes, and we'll do this with the Lamborghini. All right, ladies and gentlemen, full sends only from your boy Bug. small little Honda car with the big truck wheels and tires is a complete success. I would have never 
in my life been able to think or tell someone that, yeah, I just went off-roading in a Honda Accord. I say this in all my videos, life is all about having fun. If you're not having fun every single day, what are you doing? And that's the purpose of this channel. While I have fun, I want to film it, put it out on the internet for others to watch, laugh, and just have fun with me. Oh, you're so close. Figured we will wrap it up there. My camera battery is at 1%. We made the car back into the shop without having to go get the forklift and pull it in because the transmission is now completely toasted. We're lucky to catch first gear. We're gonna end everything here. I owe huge credit and shout out to my brother for helping me fabricate, film, and just make all of this happen along with my dad. He helps a lot of this. and. Hit the subscribe button so you can be up to date and on track for the next banger video I drop. Your boy Bug is out. I'll see you again. Keep smiling, keep having fun. That's what life's all about. I love you all. Peace.